Hey everybody, and thank you for tuning in to Corners Tutorials. This particular tutorial is going to be looking at Corners Live Mode and as well as the rest period in the Live Mode. The Live Mode has a whole variety of data all popping up at you in real time. So everything from your punch count, your timers, the, the graph in real time of how hard you're working, speed and power. And we're going to point out some of the things to look for and how to explore that data all in real time as well as what to look for in the rest mode to help you improve for your next round. So we made sure that the trackers are fully charged and we're going to be using the wristbands which are supplied with corner. When you're inserting the tracker, make sure that the arrow at the back of the sensor and the wristband are matched correctly. And then make sure that when you're placing them on, that the white line is facing towards you. Make sure that the trackers are connected and once they're connected, all you need to do is press start and throw a jab cross, which is what Charlie is going to be doing now to sync the sensors. This allows the app and the sensors to know which hand the sensors are on. Then you can just start punching and the app and the trackers will start to count all your punches. We're going to do a few rounds so that we can build up some of Charlie's data and we're going to show you what his live view looks like. So if you're specifically working towards your time and you want to maximize the time and that's the thing that you're concerned about, you can make that bigger and put your phone down and just focus on the time. Likewise, you can find out more detail of your punches and you can make that bigger. Your graph, you can extend that, turn that around if, and you know extend and get full use of your full screen. You can then look at power and see if you're hitting your goal. So this little orange circle around the half semicircle here basically shows you how far on the goal line you are. So to hit your full goal line, you should hit right here towards the bottom. Um, let's see if his speed's hit the goal. His speed has hit, actually converted it, the whole thing and it means he's actually hit his goal on the speed. Likewise, you can carry on just having the main screen if you're just having a quick overview. But for now, we're going to carry on doing some pads and then we're going to be able to review what his rest screen looks like. Here's one of Charlie's rest screens. So you saw him, he's just working really hard towards the end. And you can see that really big burst in his work rate. So he was doing just, he was working well. And then eventually he's like, you know what? I need to put more power into this. So he started working extra hard, throwing more punches at a higher speed and at a higher power. As you can see, these little green uh, triangles at the top, they either look red when they're down or green when you've performed better than the previous round. He can also go and explore his punch breakdown. But let's compare this in the next rest review as our round is about to start and we'll let Charlie do a little bit of boxing. You can see here Charlie is in his round uh, round nine rest at the moment and you can see that he is starting a little bit slower right now but he's constantly working hard towards the end as you can see that graph is really in the green section at the top here. However his punch count, his speed and his power have all dropped here so you can see those little red triangles that we've spoken about previously which are green. You can click on that and you can review so look at that his trend generally has stayed the same for his average miles per hour. He was a little bit slower at the beginning of that specific round but generally all his round speed is more or less the same. If you look at the power it really peaked towards the fourth and fifth round where he's actually really warmed up but towards the end it has slowly gone down. Now we hope you've enjoyed the demo. There's a ton of data that you can get in real time but it really depends on how you train. However all we wish for you is that corner is going to motivate you during your training and push you to work even harder. Thanks for tuning into our video. If you have any questions don't hesitate to drop them below. Um, otherwise, you might want to check out the session overview video, which is a tutorial about what to do after you save your session. There's also a modes video, and but just keep checking us out. We're going to drop more videos on how to get the best most out of corner on our page, and I hope you have a great day.